Hi, it's Drew from Alza Video, and welcome to our seminar series, The Principles of Video Lighting. This is seminar two, CRI, or Color Render Index. In seminar one, we discussed lighting technology choices. And in seminar three, we will be investigating mixing light sources and color correction. So you're thinking about upgrading your video lighting gear with new, more efficient technology like HMI, fluorescent, or LED. But you're worried about how the lights are going to render color with your camera. Or maybe you've heard some rumors about some light sources causing some strange problems in post-production. And it certainly would be helpful if you had some metric to judge how well your light sources work with your camera. Or maybe somebody told you to buy only high CRI value lights. Well, how high? Like 70, 80, 90, maybe higher? Well, there is a huge misconception that the CRI, or Color Render Index Rating, of a light source will determine the color quality of a video produced with the light. And I am now going to explain why a CRI rating of a light source will not indicate how well your camera will reproduce colors. So what is CRI, or Color Render Index? Well, CRI is the quantitative comparison of one light source to an ideal source with the same CCT or correlated color temperature. In other words, how well do the two spectrums match each other? Let's run that again. First, CRI is a comparison value of an ideal reference source to the subject source with the same CCT color temperature. All right, the first problem we have with CRI is what is an ideal light source? Or does such a thing even exist? Is it incandescent light? Or maybe it's sunlight? Well, the sun can never be considered an ideal light source because it can never be isolated from factors like the varying atmosphere that it passes through or reflects off of. No, the sun can never be an ideal source. All CRI ratings for color temperatures below 5,000 degrees Kelvin consider incandescent the ideal light source. In fact, the CRI value of an incandescent light with a color temperature of 3,200 degrees Kelvin is 100. Every other light source with color temperature below 5,000 degrees Kelvin is less than 100, even the sun. How about light sources with color temperature greater than 5,000 degrees? What is the ideal reference source? For the determination of CRI value of light sources above 5,000 degrees Kelvin, there is no ideal reference. In fact, all values of CRI for light sources above 5,000 degrees Kelvin are theoretically calculated. What did I just say? Theoretically calculated? What does that mean? Let's look at how CRI is actually determined. The current methodology of calculating CRI for sources less than 5,000 degrees Kelvin uses 10 specific colors or spectral points to rate the ideal reference light source to the test source. This chart shows the colors and the reference point value. Until recently, this table used only eight points, and then a few years ago, these two flesh tones were added. Basically, you measure the values of these spectral points for your reference and your test source. Then you calculate the differences. Then you crank all these numbers through a formula to normalize the value and presto, the CRI rating is produced. This chart and the evaluation methodology are very specific to human vision and not the sensor of a digital recording device. So why does this method not work for video cameras? Well, first of all, a video sensor is an RGB, red, green, blue, recording device, and therefore it uses only three of the color points of the 10 color CRI table. Because seven more points are evaluated in the CRI calculation, there is potential for large differences or errors. The three color reference points in the CRI table are not exact matches to the RGB sensor. In other words, the specific spectral points of a camera RGB sensor do not directly correspond to the RGB spectral points in the CRI table. This can also introduce errors. 
CRI was never intended to represent the video color recording quality of a light source. It is an attempt to measure color rendering quality for human vision. Although CRI attempts to provide an evaluative color science for human vision, it has its shortcomings. But currently, it's all we have. When you want to know how well a light source will render with your video camera, CRI is not the holy grail. This is an exact quote from Wiki. CRI merely measures the faithfulness of any illuminance to an ideal source with the same CCT or color temperature. But the ideal source itself may not render colors very well if it has extreme color temperature due to lack of energy at either the short or long wavelengths. And more importantly, your video recording device has a white balance set function and this function when properly used normalizes the color of all light sources making any light source rating system moot. Let's also consider that all camera sensors, CMOS or CCD, have a native recording color temperature where the raw image will be rendered accurately. This color temperature is typically around 5500 to 6000 degrees Kelvin. Light sources with color temperatures that deviate from this native color temperature require software compensation, and this process can cause color render errors. Yes, I will concede that CRI has some importance for very low CRI rated sources. For example, high pressure sodium vapor lights will present rendering problems with all video cameras, and the CRI of a sodium vapor light is around 24. But also keep in mind that the color temperature of a sodium vapor light is off the charts. So our conclusion is that the color temperature of a light source is the most important factor in the color rendering quality with a video camera and not the CRI. A light source with a color temperature of around 5600 degrees Kelvin is the best choice. And oh yeah, if some white shirt salesman tries to convince you that their product is better because it has a CRI of 93 while the product you're considering is 89, we'll tell them to bug off and watch this video. This concludes our Seminar 2 CRI or Color Render Index. If you missed our Seminar 1, just search for Lighting Technology Choices. And you won't want to miss our Seminar 3 Mixing Light Sources and Color Correction. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us as follows.